Hey, I got an idea. Let's get back to some hack run here. Left off with an attack from Larry. We are level 25 and um, all accounts. I don't think we reached the end of the game. There are 50 levels, so uh, we did get booted out, though. So let's uh, get back into it and see what happens, I guess. How very disappointing. And you had such promise. I suppose it's a good thing I hired more hackers than just you. I truly hope to keep you around longer, but I doubt you have the ability to recover from such an attack. I can't afford to spend any more time helping you. You're on your own. Okay, keep an unlocked employer's message. All right. Um, let's see. Do we have any new mail here? We we have a plainy. Finally, I've been waiting forever for an opportunity to meet you. Fortunately, Larry is not too bright, and he didn't secure his trace, so he made finding you a piece of cake. My name is Marie, and I used to work at Run. Larry replaced me as the head of computer security after they realized I knew too much. I mean, okay. I've been uh, hiding and waiting for an opportunity to strike back, and I think you can help me. I can't say any more through the system. Use go to note and enter the passcode born to run to read my proposal. Please hurry. Uh, no. Um. Let's go. Born to run. I am an I am a former reusing nature's. Security admin, uh, posting this message of my own free will. Through information I obtained with the use of my admin permissions, I have reasons to believe that it runs rapid expansion has been hostile. The mergers and takeovers of other pharmaceutical companies across America and the world have come at a huge price. To facilitate such an aggressive takeover, I believe several key members of the other companies were threatened, blackmailed, and possibly killed. After discovering this possibility, I deemed my own life to be in danger, so I fled run. However, before I left, I scanned through everyone's email account at Run. I believe I discovered the brains and muscle behind these heinous atrocities enacted by the company. I am almost certain that the country's government itself is involved. The country's government? What country are we talking about here? A secret government agency has been sending directives and money to Run for some time, and everything points to them being the only force that could both effectively coordinate and implement such a plan. If I only knew the full extent of what that plan was. I do know that Ron has a remote location they have been able to keep hidden. A location that they possibly use to help them carry out their sinister agenda. If we could find out where it is, we could have a chance. I have been using a personal website with a loyal fan base to spread the word through the underground and discover where this location might be. Unfortunately, I have been unable to keep my actual governmental conspiracy website up, so you can view it on alienconspiracytheories.com. Be the home page article about run for some reason adding the article to this website has yielded no legitimate leads if you are interested i need your help for you to have come here i must have followed a trace to your system by now i have installed a new routine on your machine called backdoor you can use it to connect to a few of runs remote systems start the government agency system with government and then use what appears to be what is supposed to possibly be an IP address, but definitely is not because that's not the format. And hopefully you'll be able to discover where the secret location is and what's going on there. Okay. Let's do then. Um, oh, and I just noticed that I don't actually, I seem to previously need to actually put the protocol in there, but. Apparently not anymore. All right. The true story is given to us by real visitors from outer space. Okay. Countries number two gives alien clue. Uh, there, was, there we go. Reusing nature. What are they doing? Now, this post belongs on my government conspiracy website, but the authorities are temporarily preventing me from updating that site, so I decided to post it here. The government continues to deny a secret tie to the mysterious international pharmaceutical company Reusing Nature. Reusing Nature, or RUN, has 
virtually popped up out of nowhere and has somehow managed to grow from its single location to a worldwide organization consisting of more than a dozen locations in Northern America, Europe, Asia, and South America. The majority of new locations were obtained by simply acquiring existing pharmaceutical companies at that location. While these types of acquisitions naturally occur all of the time, the surprising magnitude and rate of runs expansion has raised some concern. Okay. Many of my other followers use your knowledge of this secret location run by one. I need you to share it with everyone immediately so we learn to share it Okay. Well, secret is in quotes here, so I'm guessing that that's going to be the key some, something here. Okay, now let's try that new thing we were talking about. Uh, uh, back door, that's what it was. Back door. And then government, and then address. Yeah. Successfully logged in as Nigel. Okay. Uh, mail is all we've got. Olive. Olive, I was out of the office yesterday and just received your package. Thank you for sending it, but unfortunately it won't be necessary. I'm about to tell Peter. That I've almost completed the hit he ordered. I'm sure he'll be pleased to hear the news considering how much pressure he's been receiving from our friends above. Fortunately for me, I know exactly what needs to be done. Our troubles with Larry's predecessor are all but over. And if all goes well, I suppose you know the rest. Good luck on your end. Okay. Um, that was it. That was it. Uh, uh, okay. Um, Olive at reusing nature. Okay, we got a new thing here I didn't see before, but it looks like we got another I I'm going to call it an IP. I, I assume that's what it's supposed to be. Um, government. Dress. Since we logged in as Olive. Uh, is it just mail again? Yeah, that's all we got. We got a Larry, and we got a Pete. Larry, Larry, Larry. How many times do I have to tell you not to worry? Nigel's just jerking your chain. You're not going to lose the bet. Relax. I'll tie up my loose ends soon enough. I'm just not sure how anyone could survive this long. Maybe with help from the inside. But this is crazy. Either way, I'll make sure you win your bet. Alex Thomason's as good as dead. Ho, ho, ho. Alex did step in it, didn't he? Uh, Pete. I don't have much time. I haven't been able to complete this hit because I can't establish a successful trace. I want to try and triangulate the signal, but I need your help. I tried including your PDA in the net, but I wasn't able to. Is the address still... Oh, address. Indeed. Uh, or maybe your PDA is turned off. As soon as you turn it on, let me know, and I'll try again so I can finally complete my mission. I have to finish it sooner. I'm going to lose another bet to Nigel. Okay. Is that it? That was it. Uh, Peter, a.k.a. Petey Boy. Exit, exit. Government. Successfully logged in as Pita. Uh, Nigel. Nice work, Nigel. Hopefully that stupid cow can complete her mission and we can be in the clear. If I had any idea how critical her hit was, I never would have given it to her in the first place. If Olive screws this up and they find out about Rakoganol, we're all going down. Okay. Whatever that is. And Sasha. Uh, uh, Sasha. Oh, I went too far. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sasha. Stupid database server has crashed again, and I can't get to it. Can you remote into IP address? 
or you know whatever all right we need to uh organize this a little bit better because it's starting to get crazy already <coughs> pardon me um and see if you can reboot the machine first olive can't complete her hit now the virtue farm thing can't complete its task and if it shuts down we're as good as dead uh no that's not what i wanted to do oh i copied it yeah that's right i forgot i did the whole thing last successfully logged in it's eerie Okay. Oh, okay. What can I do here? Oh, okay. Uh, we got some SQL here. Select from table name reference the master table for a list of available names. Okay. Not not actual SQL format because we didn't have to terminate that with a semicolon, but okay. Uh, let's. For ease of reference. Unable to access backup table. Okay. Uh, uh, orders. Everything delivered. Head rid. Okay. Don't know the significance of that yet. Is the item in question here? It was Ricoganol. I don't see Ricoganol. Roy Oxygen. And then there was Regions. Ah. We have a, a thing here, whatever this location is. Let's go back and find out. Oops. Welcome to the VRGB robot system. Installed September 2006. Hack to the robot system is the achievement. You visit rgb.com for the latest set of help commands. VRGB.com. Okay. Uchu Farm Botic Robot Guidebooks. Uh, we have some things. Which one is this? This is model XJ5A12. XJ5A12. Holy moly. Codes entered must be completed by qualified and certified technicians only. Failure to follow all proper safety and regulatory notices will invalidate any service agreements currently in place. Code tree. Several entries shown for complete rollback purposes only. Okay. Since we can't actually use the terminal with the browser open, let me copy and paste this so we have it available. That format looks crazy. Uh, but it is literally the format. So it seems to have preserved it. Let's see, what did I miss anything on the home page though? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Not help, help, help. That's it. Oh, I think I can enter the commands here. No? Um, uh, if I can't run the commands, okay, is there a command to like start? Oh, or this, oh, okay, hold on a sec. I, I see. No? Uh, 
Um, okay. Confuse. BRGB.com. I'm just looking at the other models here. I don't think that these are relevant to what we're looking for. Oh, device column key blank code is used. Not blank code is used. Device column key. Again, I don't think that these are relevant to what we're doing as these are different models, but I am just checking. Okay. Um. <laughs> Applies to systems patch with version thirty seven five oh two thirty seven five oh one. Okay. This is their Um, there's nothing here for the version we're on. Is there a, I don't, I didn't see. There is no upgrade option here in the list. Um, There, there is an upgrade option here, but I don't know if these. Okay, the commands won't work on this version, but. Upgr. Uh, okay, so that did work, uh, but I need a version number, which was uh thirty-seven five zero two. So. Upgr thirty-seven dot five zero two. Unable to upgrade robot system invalid or missing version number to upgrade to. I probably need the stupid V. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, so now can I run this? No. Um, toggle between on and off, shut down. I don't think we need to shut it down. Status. Let's see if that works. Hey, that does work. Why does, why does that work? And some, some work and some don't. Um, all right, whatever. It, it am I no, that's what it says. F five oh eight. I would think that if there were no messages to get, it would just simply say there's no messages, not that it's an unrecognized command. Format unit is null. Okay. Um robot system active, conveyor belt active, robotic arms active. I don't know what the fuck any of this is doing. Um, I wonder, also, I wonder if I can actually, oh, literally, yes, we can, we can just use it in a separate browser to visit the site. That's cool. Um, which I mean, it's, it's just URL, but I, I thought that the URL was in the game files and it was just loading it in a, uh, simulacrum of a browser. It turns out it's an actual live site. That's. So I didn't need to copy all of that, but this was good because now I don't have to close it to go back to the terminal. Ugh, what the hell? Um, 
Let's try some of these other commands. Comms. System components and codes. Belt arms ramp load. Okay. So if I do need to refer to these, then I can refer to them at the shorter names. That'll be something of a time saver. Um, let's try, what's performance meter? D3AC. See, why does not? Okay, so the ones that like are like a pseudo language seem to work. Upgrade, status um comms these other ones that are just like weird hex values not even hex values because there's a k let's try that one k four four six these don't see yeah they don't seem to do anything okay so i think we're just focusing on the ones that are like um legitimately commands or you know status shutdown and so on so then if i limit the this to that so I should be able to run version. Yeah. Okay. So these other ones here, I guess, are just window dressing or just to throw me off or something. So then what am I supposed to do, though? Um, did anybody mention this system before? Let me go up in the buffer a bit here. Um... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. If the virtual thing, if it shuts down, we're as good as dead. Okay. So I think I'm, I think I am trying to shut this down. Um, so S down. Unable to successfully shut down the X blah blah blah. So I'm sure all system components of okay. So, all right. Um, I got it. I got to toggle them off. Toggle component code, and the component codes are up there, so toggle load, toggle ramp, toggle arms, toggle belt status, oops, toggle belt, ready for system shutdown status, okay, so now S down. Um, successfully shut down. Warning, unauthorized or unsuccessful shut down. Critical robot systems. Auto generate message been sent to notify the technical support representative at that. Okay, that was... All right, Sasha. That was, uh, that was tricky. That was a tricky one. Um, sure, Peter. Peter, what the devil happened to my database and the robot? I'm getting flooded with warning messages that they're both down. Do you have any idea how serious this is? You once told me that if you were to fail that your government would hurt you. What do you think my government is going to do to me? In any case, if we can't get them back online, the group controlling things will probably kill us both before our governments even find there is a problem. Sasha. Okay. Okay, I was going to say I have no idea what to do next, but we have another message, so let's go back and get that. Maybe, yeah. Good work collecting intel from the secret government agency. Shutting down that robot really put them in a tailspin. It was, I was pretty sure our government was involved, but to learn multiple governments in around it is unfathomable. And who did Sasha mean when she said the group controlling things? The Illuminati. You need to believe, <clears throat> you need to find out about this group. And I think I know where you can start. I believe the employer that hired you to hack into run is actually a member of this group. I monitored their traffic a bit and collected some information regarding the system they were using. I just installed an upgrade on your machine called Trace. Simply launch it and it'll do the rest to get you in. Find out for sure if your employer is one of them and we'll go from there. I'll be in touch. Okay. Uh, trace. No, do I have to do run trace? Run command offline. Okay, so... I guess it's backdoor and then trace. What's alt? Achievements. Answer. Oh, okay. The things they're talking about. Oh, there's a notes program. Oh, it just opens no patch. Well, then. Okay. Uh, back door, and then I'm guessing trace. Yes. No, trace. 
connected to target system. You successfully established a trace to your employer. Okay. Establish an uplink. Let's check mail first. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Uh, that's the message that he initially sent me. Uh, this is probably all of the messages that he sent me earlier. Uh, yep. Admin attacked. This is the last one he sent me. And so then this is a new message. You're currently on schedule to proceed with our plan. You have, you all have performed well ah, and shall be rewarded accordingly. <coughs> You'll receive an update soon. Uplink. What? Oh. Uplink. Oh boy. We're getting the passcode. Yeah, I'm going to copy this just in case I need it. Successfully hacked into the uplink system. HR jump. Uh, let's try it. Let's see here. Failure in Larry. Uh, it was T to type out things. Peter and Sasha, we don't tolerate incompetence very well. The recent disruption of the database and robotic manufacturing plant have caused us to miss our deadline. I suggest you get the systems back online or I'll make sure each of you receive a dose of recogonol. I'm sure you know how unpleasant that would be. And then Larry. Larry, I had to terminate Victor today. We got another name here. I'm going to put it over here because I don't know who he works for. In addition to poking his nose where it didn't belong, after repeated warnings to strengthen his workstation password, he never changed it. Please make sure that his account is deactivated before anyone can figure out his childish password. Apparently it was made up of the letters you pause on when singing the alphabet song. The letters you pause on when singing the alphabet song. Um, so... LMNO? I guess. I don't know what pause. What do you pause on when you sing the song? Um, hmm. Or, okay, or, or it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, pause. H, I, J, K, pause. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, P, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So maybe that. Let's try both, I guess. Um, let's uh, jump. There's no mail. So Victor. let's try, let's try J, G, J, P, R, V, Z. No. Uh, Elemento? No, okay. Um, oh, we don't stop on J. H, I, J, K. Okay, yeah, we don't stop on that. Okay, let's try B, P, R. V X Z? No. Okay. Uh J K L M N O P Q R Q R S E U V. We don't stop on R either. We stop on S. Q R S T -E U V. -E. Okay. I know that I'm sorry to have to put you all through to uh, my uh, singing, but uh, <laughs> well, we got it. All right. So I don't know who Victor works for exactly yet, but okay. Um, no files. We have mail. Uh, Brian's back. Brian, you were right. I didn't believe it was possible when you said it, but I just confirmed that Ron has been giving a, a new experimental version of our products to drug addicts. Why would they do that secretly? I agree. It does sound shady. David. 
David, I don't know all the details, but after checking the molecular signature of this mystery compound, there appears to be some undocumented component being used. I'll do more research, but I have a meeting with HR that I have to prepare for. I'll be in touch soon. Meeting with HR, I can't be good. Um... Elise, I don't know what this meeting is about, but I'll be a little late. I need to talk with someone in the chemical research department urgently about a component they recently began adding to our products. From what I can tell, one of their ingredients may actually have a side effect of actually altering the consumer's genetic structure. How horrific. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know where to go next, but we have another uh, email. Uh, show dead. If you're reading this, then they finally found me. I programmed my system to deliver this message. If it sat idle for a certain period, if this message was sent, I am most likely dead. I left you some secure instructions on my website. You'll need to enter your full name, first, middle, and last, to access my message. I don't know if it's fate, but I always found it interesting that my website and your name share the same initials. Okay. Um, so it was alienconspiracytheories.com. Oh, I'm still in the mail program. And now all of a sudden we do have a command buffer. We didn't before. All right. Uh, learn your login. Uh, so it, it, I know what name it wants us to enter, by the way, uh, because we looked up his file and it was uh, Alex Christopher Thomason. Um, but I should probably just use, hold on, I'm just going to use a real browser because then we don't need to do the thing. Alien, uh, conspiracy theories .com. Um, photonic password. Learn your alien name. Enter your full name. Alex Christopher Thomason. Thomason. Unknown name. Please try again. Alexander Christopher Thomason. No? Um... To your full name, first, middle, and last to access my message. Um, let's go back um, and um, those back door. Um, Trace, uplink, HR, Alex, oh shit, uh, HR, Elise, hire me, Alex, or uh, search, Alex. Okay, I got the middle name wrong. It's Chris, not Christopher. I should have written it down when I first saw it. It's my fault. Oops. No. Uh, learn your alien name. Alex Chris Thomason. Alex Chris Thomason. Okay, I thought we were going to have to enter or find a password or something, but maybe that's coming up later. Um, all right, with the last batch of information obtained from different sources within run systems, I now know what their plan is, but I am still unsure what their end game is. Scientists, um, then hold on, I'm gonna turn the sound down and we'll play this message before I do the reading because I'm probably just reading this message out. And computer audio on and with the latest batch of information obtained from different sources within RAN systems, I now know what their plan is, but I'm still unsure what their end game is. 
scientists within RANS have discovered a mystery compound called Ricogenol that has been secretly distributed to a number of drug dealers across the world. I can only assume that RAN was trying to illegally conduct drug trials without alerting the proper governmental authorities. I initially wondered if Ricogenol was possibly designed specifically for drug addicts. But after receiving more intel, I now understand RAN has much larger plans for this compound. A short time ago, they began using a secret robotic manufacturing factory to produce the compound and add it to every existing product they sell. As you know, this would cause Ricogenol to reach nearly every person in the world in a matter of weeks. Run scientists believe that there was a harmful genetic side effect of Ricogenol. However, I believe that the side effect is actually the primary purpose of this compound. If this were true, every human being on the planet would succumb to the effect and no one, not even run employees or members of the secret government agencies across the world, would be safe. Therefore, as impossible as it may sound, I now believe the members of the secret group controlling the governments and run are in fact visitors from outside our world. This is the only logical conclusion I can reach, but this theory needs to be confirmed. We need to discover exactly what the genetic side effect is. You can help by downloading the latest version of my program to hack into the visitor's system. Simply use the command get UFO on your local machine to gain access. I recently learned the visitors have been recruiting employees from RUN to maintain the systems. The name of one such person is Wanda, who was recruited due to her weird love of binary numbers. If you can discover her password and hack into the systems, it could allow us to take a huge step closer to understanding what we're up against. Good luck. Well, there's some deviation there between what was being read and what was on the page, but um, I think overall I get the story. We're, we're dealing with space aliens here. Um, Wanda. Meaniary. Um, and uh, that was all read with a French accent, if I'm not mistaken, although I could be. Basing that on some of the uh, stresses, um, particularly with the syllables. I understand French is very, um, uh, tends to stress the beginning of words. So, command, right? Visitors. Uh, not that it matters. It doesn't. Um, but, but, but there was one other thing I wanted to note. Ah, yes, good UFO. UFO. UFO routine successfully downloaded and installed. You're damn right it is. Let's go kick some alien ass. Welcome to Earth. Uh, uh, is it under the back door? Because I don't see it there. There it is. Launch the UFO routine. Yes, do it. Uh, Wanda. Binary? No. Her password's going to be in binary. Um... Let's see. What is a binary? Have we come across any binary numbers? <laughs> You're actually a nice try. <laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. Um, let's see. Wanda is like uh, the uh, binary encoding of the name Wanda is going to be far, far too large. Um, but I guess we'll try it. Yeah, that's, that's just going to be too big. That's too big for a password. We'll try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, um, it's going to be something. 
probably just going to be um, one byte. Start with. I don't want to go through the whole. There's going to be. Um, there's going to be too many. Too many to brute force here. Um, uh, what if it's no, UFO is still going to be too large? That's going to be three bytes. Um, let's try it though. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, let's try lowercase w. The letters of her name, we'll try, we'll try just the letters of her name, which there will only be four because A is used twice. So let's start with W, and then we'll try A, and then we'll try N, and then we'll try D. Okay, it's, it's W. So that was kind of lucky, if I'm being honest. Uh, that was a total shot in the dark. Must be for me, because I'm a hacker. Wanda, I need your help. Things are falling apart, and I need to make sure they go in the right direction. I need you to find me, find more help in ensuring our plan goes back on track. Alex was just burned, and I don't have time to undo the damage Larry caused. You need to find me a replacement soon. This is urgent. You can use the hidden ping routine to contact me if you have any questions. Okay, so there's a hidden ping routine. Ping. Initiating ping. Well, well, well. Look who patched themselves up and decided to rejoin the party. Alex, I admit I shouldn't have given up on you so quickly, but time was short. You've proven to be talented. <clears throat> Wait, am I Alex in this situation? I thought I was somebody else. I think I'm somebody else. I think they're referring to Alex, who's now gone, and they think that I'm them. Okay, anyway. Uh, you've proven to be talented, and therefore you deserve to be told the truth about what you have been searching for. As you suspected, an alien race forced the governments of Earth to take control of Run. They are called the Yengi Tat, and their goal was to distribute a harmful gene-altering substance called Rokelgenal. Uh, among your people, you already know all of this, but you still do not know why it is so. For you to fully understand, I need to tell you a bit about our history. Yes, I'm one of the visitors that came to your planet not so long ago. My name is Yurgon. A couple of things here I don't want to. Story got crazy, and all of a sudden we're dealing with aliens and shit. Uh, Yurgon. Uh, and I am the chief communications officer of the Yengi Tat. When we came to your world, it was a dark time for us. Our homeworld had been destroyed by a series of natural disasters, and we fled to the stars. Eventually, we discovered another alien race called the Zergorkin and sought refuge with them. But to our horror, they attacked our fleet, and only a fraction of us survived by escaping to your sector. Fortunately, yours is a region of space yet unexplored by other races. Our initial intention was to join your people and seek safe harbor. However, our leaders believed that we couldn't risk being attacked again and decided to initiate a hostile takeover of your world. They designated a substance to alter humankind's genetic code to make them more docile. Over the next three generations, virtually all humans will be turned into obedient slaves. It will be all too easy to make this planet ours and grow our army against further attacks from the Zergorkin race. You must believe uh, me that when I learned of this plan, I was horrified. I do not wish to return to the stars, and I am still uncertain of your race's reaction to alien visitors. But I do know that what my leaders are doing is wrong. They quickly learned of my disapproval and removed my access to our critical systems. Unable to alter their plan myself, I decided to recruit those who could, and I still need your help. <clears throat> you need to continue your run and find a way to stop them. Your computer appears to have sufficient routines to allow you to proceed. However, there is one more item that I need to share with you. Your girlfriend, Alice, has been taken. She was kidnapped by a run employee who was promoted to our side. His name is Xander, and he plans on killing her. Goodness. 
Um, there isn't much time, but I think you've learned, earned a chance to rescue her. I've heard Xander is very obsessed with keeping his password current and changes it 12 times. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do not know why he does this, yet it may provide a clue on how to reach his system. I wish you luck in saving her. You must also make sure to keep digging before it's too late. I will contact you again with aid if I'm able to. Good luck. Um... Okay. Uh, no. uh, exits. Exits. Exiting from the run spacecraft system. Okay. Um. So I need to get back to um. Jumping. It seems. Seems like I need to jump onto Xander's system. Uh, jump Xander's. Um, let me guess. Uh, okay. March, April, June. July, August. September, oops, that, that was not an actual month. September is not a month. November, December. Oh, okay. Thought for sure that it would be, because he said he changes it 12 times a year. So, um, did I spell them all correctly? Let's double check. March, oh. We tried May. Where's where was May? There it is, May. June, July, August. Oh wait, hold on a sec. The uplink was to uh the uplink was to a run system. Um he went over to the side of the aliens. So, uh, um, okay, uh, January, February, March, I don't know what month this game is taking place in, I, they, they probably said it somewhere, and I missed it, I'm probably in one of the emails or something. But that's okay. It's only 12. We'll just try them out. March, April, May, June. July, August. Okay. It's August, apparently. I am playing this in August, so I wonder if that's just a coincidence or what. Okay. Uh, prisoner database. Let's do the mail first, though. No messages. Okay. And then let's do the prisoner database. <clears throat> uh, release term exit. Okay. I don't want to terminate anybody. Uh, release Alice. Okay. Release. I need a prisoner number. Um, did it? Can I release? Can I release all? Can I just release? Can I do? I just go one, two, three, four. I don't know how high I would have to go. Um. All right. Let's. Let's start, let's just try one. They have at least one prisoner, right? They have already been terminated. Can I do zero? No, invalid prison number. Okay. They've already been terminated. Three. Okay, so there is an uh, there is how many prisoners? Let's try a thousand. Okay, they don't have a thousand prisoners. Do they have nine hundred prisoners? Do they have eight hundred prisoners? 
Okay, they have 700. 600. 500. 400. 300. Okay, they do have three. Do they have 350? No, they don't. Do they have 340? Do they have 330? They do. So somewhere between 330 and 340 prisoners. Um, and it, I haven't come across any that have not already been terminated. So the ping said that Alice was taken. I guess we can assume that in the context of the game, that would make her one of the most recent prisoners. So 331, 332, 33. It's only 10 numbers to go through, so we can definitely do at least do this. Everybody's already dead. There's only one more number to go, so this must be Alice. I hope that she's already dead. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got a voicemail. I'm gonna turn the sound back on for you. Alex, this is Yurgon. Alice is safe with me, but there isn't much time left. You need to stop Ron from completing their plans. Even if they can distribute a small amount of Ricardinal, it would be disastrous for your planet. If you can access my old communication programs, you may be able to transmit a warning message to your people. The radio is strong and will reach everyone on the planet. I don't have the ability to log into my old system, but you should be able to get in by using Marie's backdoor UFO program and my account. My password used to be phone. Hopefully they haven't changed it. You must hurry. Password used to be what? Alex, this is Yurgon. Alice is safe with me, but there isn't much time left. You need to stop Ron from completing their plans. Even if they can distribute a small amount of Ricardinol, it would be disastrous for your planet. If you can access my old communication programs, you may be able to transmit a warning message to your people. The radio is strong and will reach everyone on the planet. I don't have the ability to log into my old system, but you should be able to get in by using Marie's backdoor UFO program and my account. My password used to be phone. Hopefully they haven't changed it. You must hurry. Hey, hear that right? Phone? Okay. Yes, it is phone. Okay. Level 48. Holy shit, we're already almost there. Uh, let's do mail first. Peace. The name of peace, Zergarkin uh, race. In the name of peace, I beg you to please stop attacking our ships. Our home world was just destroyed and we only wish to seek refuge. We are a peaceful race and do not wish you any harm. Again, please, in the name of peace, stop your attacks. Okay, well, they clearly didn't listen to that. Uh, so now radio, connect to the radio, subspace, blah, blah. Um, let's view those logs. All right, there's message ID. XMS5, 1 to 3, XMS1, rec 1. Um, let's see what the first one's about. 43. To you need to have hormone base stations. Okay, there's the frequency. If there's anyone left on the planet service, you must evacuate immediately. Um. Okay, so then these are all going to be the same. So, like, 3429 is the same message? No. Okay. People of Earth, by now your system should have detected our spaceships. Do not be alarmed. We come in peace. We request a meeting with representatives of each government from your planet. We look forward to meeting you in person. Okay. Uh, what's 2394 then? Which is und3. Uh, unable to deliver a message. So und is unable to deliver. So 2473 should be same yes okay all right so then 2594 is the next message after they left their home world um unable to deliver a message 
refusing to accept messages. All right, so then uh, what What then is rec one, 2783? Okay, there, uh, exterminating the earth thing. Okay, all right, so really, um, 24, or th sorry, 3429 is we come in peace. 3874 is okay. All right, so that is they've already done 3429. Um, okay, all right. So, governments of Earth is 5416. Earth communication satellites, 5402. Those are Gorkin race. Homeworld battle st base stations are in. in. All right, so Earth communication satellites is 5402. Governments of Earth is 5416. Okay. Transmit. Am I aiming for the uh, satellites then, or am I aiming for, or do I contact, oh man, what do I do? Um, I feel like if we contact the Earth satellites, we can transmit to blow the lid off this thing, but no one's going to believe us. They don't really have, you know, the, all the governments of Earth are in on this. Um, I wonder if we should just contact the Zergork and there's no, no point in, like, this is gone. Their homeworld is gone. So 723.12 isn't going to do anybody any good. It doesn't exist anymore. So there's really only, well, I could contact the governments of Earth and see if I can reason with them, but that's obviously not going to work. I think we need to contact the Zerg Ark, and, which is 80, 80, 8, 8, 8334. I feel like I'm making a serious choice here. Um... I feel like I do have a choice, but I also feel like there's only one option that really will accomplish anything. So, but I also kind of get the impression that this is kind of the bad choice to make because it's just going to call hostile aliens to Earth and then they will wipe out the Yingi Tot and probably humans. So, this seems like a really bad idea. Oh well, I'm an idiot. Seem to work. We are surprised you contacted us. We haven't heard from you since our species first met. We have been searching for you ever since you and your people fled. Perhaps you have decided to come back and let us finish you off. Regardless, your foolish bravery has been noted, and our leaders wish to engage in diplomatic discussions with your people. If your systems still contain the same hidden diplomacy program, quote unquote, you used when we first met, use it now to continue this conversation. I trust you still remember the correct credentials. We expect to hear from you soon in order to have a hopeful, a peaceful outcome. Okay. Um, diplomacy program. Uh, do I need to go back? Connecting to the intergalactic diplomacy system, alien race. Zer Gorkin. Did I spell that right? No, I did not. Zer Gorkin. Huh? Really? It's 
C-Y-R-G-O-R-K-N. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess it can't be capitalized. <sighs> My password. Um, phone again? Is it phone? No. Um, it's not going to be diplomacy because that would be dumb to have a diplomacy program with a diplomacy password. Um, is it we come in peace? We come in peace? Is it just peace? It is. Oh, I thought I did something wrong because all of a sudden the text turned red, but it says logged in. Autoplaying message from the Zercor can make sure the audio is on for you. I'm not, I'm not hearing an audio message. You're gone. You have shown great courage by contacting us, although it was a foolish act. Our warriors hunger for blood and wish to put an end to your race. However, our leaders are not willing to spend their time searching for you. Therefore, we will let you live. I know this. If we ever do locate where you ran to, we will strike you. Okay. That. That didn't. Did, did I, I? Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe that's what happens when you get the wrong password is you fail to contact them through the diplomacy program. Shit, what the fuck do I do now? Send? God, this seems like such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Perhaps you're not as cowardly over the race as we thought. Our warriors are preparing to face you at the location coordinates you just sent. It will take time for them to reach you, but your deaths will be worth the wait. Oh my god. I definitely I definitely picked the bad ending here. You successfully sent your location coordinates to the user Gorkin race. Your gun left you a message named Earth on your local system. Shit, this is a bad No, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm sorry for blowing your eardrums out because I had the sound turned up because I thought there was gonna be more audio. Shit. I did the bad ending, didn't I? You've done it. Once the Yingi Tot heard the Zagorkan warriors were coming, they ran back to the stars. That was it. Well, but now they this bloodthirsty race of aliens knows where we are. I was able to regain control of my old communication system and transmitted a warning message about Run's products to Earth. I just learned the members of the secret government agencies and the corrupt employees of Run are being detained by authorities. You saved your world. However, there is only one problem. But the secret governments are the authorities. This is not an answer. The government is the authority. So, yeah, exactly. Zergorkan warriors are still coming to Earth. Dipshit. Um, final goal achieved. You won. Okay, so that that's the ending. That's how it's supposed to go. You successfully drove the aliens from Earth and exposed run secrets to the world game over. But I, but I made things so much worse. I didn't. I didn't solve anything. I didn't. <laughs> it doomed us all. <laughs> I don't feel satisfied with this ending. Um, all right. Yep, we got all 52 achievements. It's 100% out of the game. I'm not satisfied with this ending. Oh, my God. This was such a bad move. Oh, my God. I feel like I feel like we've doomed we're doomed. Maybe they continue the story in the sequel Hack Run 0 and um I am going to move on to that one next. So come back and see if we uh we confront the Zergorkan race in that one. I feel like uh like somebody's going to have to. So take it easy. We'll see you then.